Uh, here this link yeah in the documentation for the taurus gui in the in the api in the developers guide api uh, taurus gui somewhere uh, let's let's see how we get there yeah here so you get you get here and and here there is this um, uh, different ways of, of using the, the Taurus GUI. This is how you use it typically when you create the Taurus GUI with Taurus new GUI. When you do Taurus new GUI, uh, I'm just going to go through this very uh, Quick. I'm not adding anything. Okay, so it just created the GUI and it tells me that I can uh, launch it, install it, and launch it. So, in if I go to this, I think I put it in my home. Yes. So if I go to this um, uh, to this directory, you see that there is um, tgconf foo one two three. This this was auto generated. So um, and what it generated was a config py and a config xml here. So if you edit the config pi well this is pretty empty because it basically just imports the config xml but you could here put things like this a good place for for looking at at this is the um, tgconf example 01 that uh, let's let's go and, and check this one which will be um, more more evident. Um, uh, sorry. Um, I'm just trying to get to where this is installed. Ah, sorry. Yeah. No, forget it. So in the Taurus code, let's let's navigate it from here. Uh, files. Qt, Qt GUI, Taurus GUI. So here are the examples. And if you look at this file, this is the one that we always recommend as, as, the, as the comprehensive example on, on how to develop a Taurus GUI. But this way of developing a Taurus GUI is basically having a config pi that is purely declarative. It's just uh, having, uh, it's just having um, variables assigned values, but there is no other code. It's just like this. And this is loaded by Taurus by the Taurus GUI um, class. Okay. So this is what is mentioned as the first as the first way of, of doing it. Okay. But then you can use the Taurus GUI class just as you would use any, for example, just as you would use a Taurus main window. Taurus, uh, uh, sorry, a Q main window. Uh, Taurus GUI inherits from Taurus main window, which inherits from Q main window. So basically you can use it like this, but using the API provided by the Taurus GUI, like for example, create a panel. So this is the example, a typical example for doing it like this. And then 
this is kind of a hack way of uh, mixing both of these uh, ways of, of using the Taurus way. In this way, in, 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 in this way uh, for example, I am just putting in, in the same file, I am putting um, a variable of the ones that I know are keys for the configuration. I put it here. And in the when I when I instantiate the Taurus GUI, I pass this file as the configuration file. You see, so anything that is declared here will be read. But also at the same time, I can still programmatically create another panel. You see? This is the this is what I meant by by these different ways of using Taurus GUI. But for most users, uh, a Taurus GUI is created by using the Taurus new GUI wizard. Okay, this one. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.